Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to carry on with the actual design and I want to introduce you some, to something called a PHP include file. So if we look at the actual design at the moment there's certain sections of the, the design uh, that will be on every single page. So for example yourwebsite.com the, the logo will be on every page. The search box will be on every page. Um, the navigation all those icons will be on every single page. If you look at the bottom, the footer, again, that's never going to change. That's always going to be on every single page. So we need a way uh, to include these elements on all the pages. Now, this is something called a PHP include file. Um, so the way you do this, so if we just go over to Dreamweaver, if we just go to the source, so if we look at the actual code, we've got the logo here. And then we've got the search box here, and then we have the navigation that comes down to here. So all of these elements will need to be on every page. So the way we include these is that we do the following. So I'm going to go to my files, and I'm going to create a folder, and I'm going to call this includes. Now inside of this includes folder, I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to call this header.html. And I'm also going to create another file called footer, if I can spell footer that is. So footer.html, like that. Now if we look at the code, the code we need to grab, so we need to, we need to be above the main content, we don't want to grab that, we want to grab from this closing div and come all the way up to the top to the uh, div with an ID of logo and just copy that straight out. So I've now copied that to the clipboard. Now I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to open up the header and now this is just a standard HTML page uh, that has been created by Dreamweaver. We don't need any of this so I'm going to delete all that and I'm going to paste in the code we just copied out of the index page. So if I just save that and obviously if I save the index page and go to design view all the header, logo, search box is all gone. So we now need a way of including this HTML uh, document into the, into the PHP document. So here, so we're going to open up the following, we'll say PHP, and we're going to say include, then open two brackets, and inside there, two speech quotations, close that off, and then close off the PHP tag. So we've now created what is called an include. So we need to tell this include where that uh, HTML file is. So it's in our includes folder and it's called header.html. So if I now save that and go to the design, you can now see all that information has now been brought back into the index.php page. So now uh, if we've got multiple pages, so an index page, a contact page, about page services, all that, all that good stuff, we now only need to edit the header.html file to make a change across the whole site. If we did it the other way and we just had this code on every single page, we'd have to go to every page and change what we wanted to uh, affect. So now that we've done that, we now need to do it to the footer as well. So I'm going to grab from the div with an ID of footer down to the closing div and I'm going to copy that out. And again, I'm going to open up the footer remove all this, paste in the footer code and save it. Now if we go back to the index page, and I'm just going to copy the include here just to save a bit of time. And I'm just going to change header for footer and then save the page, go back to the design. And as you can see, we've still got the footer information in there. So if I just open up a browser and I hit refresh, you won't see any change. It'll all be exactly the same. And as you can see, there it is. We've got the information in there. So now, like I said, when we want to make a change, we do it in one file, which affects the whole site. So I'm going to leave the video here. Um, I'm going to create a couple of more videos and get those uploaded as soon as I can. So also remember to check out my website as well, which is www.mattsaundersmcp.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description below. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.